Hey everybody, how's it going? It's the Mile High Menace himself, Boo, over here at Mile High Distilling. And today is another chapter in our How to Build a Still series. We're gonna be looking at building a thumper. Now there are many different ways we can build a thumper. By all means, you are welcome to sort of just take this video as a guide and build it your own way. This is the way we build them here. This is the way our video is gonna show using our milk can style boilers. So let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. Right here is everything that you would need to build our way. Rather than spend five minutes sort of going through each and every one of these parts, you're gonna find a full list of everything shown here down below, uh, just to get you a good guide. If you want, go ahead and pause the video and sort of read up on the parts if you're curious. When you're all caught up on these parts, go ahead and replay that video. We're gonna get right into it. Now how we start our thumper is by drilling all the necessary components. What this will be is a half inch drill bit that's gonna drill out two holes onto our thumper plate. That's for when it attaches to our thumper can. We're also gonna be using this same drill bit to drill out our water ports for our condenser line. And then we're also gonna have a one inch drill that's gonna go in to our traditional head. That's gonna be used for a thermometer port in there. Next, we're going to use washers and tack weld them onto our outer condenser jacket's ends. More descriptive dimensions of those pipes and washers are found down below. Go ahead and weld those all the way through. We'll take our nipples and tack weld into where we drilled our holes out for them. Just finish that with a weld all the way through after they're leveled and squared evenly. Let's now weld the tri-clamp ferrule onto our inner pipe for our condenser. Then we're gonna feed that inner pipe through that outer jacket condenser. Weld everything in place to complete the job. Our next step is to take the opportunity to weld our tri-clamp ferrules into one end of our thumper stem pipes. We have a long pipe that will connect to the traditional head and then a short side which will connect to our condenser. Here 
here you'll see us welding a ferrule to a washer which will then be put on top of a cone reducer and welded in place. That cone reducer will be our connection point from our traditional head to our thumper stem. We also want to tack weld a ferrule onto our 45 degree elbow that will connect our traditional head to our boiler lid. Take your 90 degree elbow that we drilled out, install a coupling and weld in place. You can finish welding up your 45 degree elbow either right after tack welding it or after finishing up your 90 degree, completely up to you. And really now it's just time to put pieces together. Let's go ahead and tack weld all the joints you've just made and then we're going to weld everything into one solid piece. Since two out of three of our thumper connections are now officially complete, Noah's going to take the opportunity to buff them. He's going to check those pieces off his production list. It's also a great idea to buff your ferrules connected to your thumper stem now. They're a little bit tricky to buff after we weld our thumper into one piece, which we'll be doing next.
Now it is absolutely imperative that you cut a slit through the bottom of your thumper dip tube. That's gonna avoid any pressure buildup and allow liquid and steam to safely exit into our thumper boiler. Bend in time, baby. We're gonna bend our thumper tubes to a 45 degree angle. Building the thumper completely level with your cans can be a challenge. Noah highly recommends installing the traditional head onto our main boiler. Then we're gonna line up our thumper stem pieces flush with that head, clamp everything down, ensure everything stays consistently level. Once we're there, we just tack weld everything in place and complete that weld on both sides. Get that tricky buff out of the way, keep everything looking good. Friends, this thumper's been mile high approved. <laughs>